Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. As you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular bed with furniture. That's a back panel as well. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, let's go over here. I'll slightly give a bit of inset and let's extrude it a bit inside. Let's go over here into the extended primitives. I'll just take a chamfer box. So let's just take a chamfer box over here. So I'll just take a chamfer box in this way. So I'll just scale a bit. slightly convert to poly select the vertices in this way go to this view shuffle it a bit behind over here let's go over here and if needed I can just select this edges and let's give some connects over here. <coughs> That's it. So let's go over here and now let's take a plane. So let's just take a plane over here slightly just push this up, shuffle it up and select this. I'll give some segments and let's give a bit of cloth over here. Go into object properties, click on plane, let's give satin, go into collision add objects. So what I'll do over here is like I'll just add some objects over here for the collision stuff. So I can just add all of this and make it as a collision object, plain as a cloth. So let's go into this and say simulate local. I can just simulate it in this way. So let's convert to editable poly. <coughs> I'll save the file once and let's go into this and give a shell modifier. So I can just assign a shell modifier over here. All right. So as you can see now, this is on this level. Select the box again for the pillow. Slightly just shuffle this up. And let's give a cloth modifier, give object properties, select this, let's give a cloth and let's give the pressure over here as 20. So let's give some pressure. Now, let's click OK. So, I'll go over here and I'll give the gravity <coughs> as 0 and let's 
simulate local and let's give a turbo smooth convert to poly if needed i can resize this as well i'll rotate it slightly push it over here scale it and let's again duplicate it again i'll make one more copy of it so let's make a copy let's just save the file once over here and let's just give a color to it now once it is done let's create this switchboard kind of stuff so let's again go over here and let's create this switchboard over here so let's just give one one scale it convert to poly select this slightly inset it and slightly push this out over here <coughs> so select the edges over here and let's give some connect over here if needed so select this let's give two connects over here so select the polygons and let's give inset by polygon click okay extrude it a bit out in this way and you can just make the switches in this way so we can just create the switchboard in this way now i'll just save the file once over here and we do have a bottle over here so let's just take a line tool <coughs> so i'll go over here so just select this and let's create a shape over here and go into the modifier and let's give a lathe modifier and let's make it as max over here push it a bit inside in this way and let's give a bit of fillet to it so we can just add a bit of fillet so this can be done in this way so we can just keep it over here as it is now if we have a wire or something we can just create over here the phone as well let's go over here let's again take a box i'll activate this auto grid over here slightly push this up select this 
give a bit of inset and slightly give bevel to it giving in inset and let us delete it. So, let us give a again a shell modifier convert to poly and isolate this. So, you can just drag it over here and you can create a glass over here. So, I can just make a shape over here and let us go over here and give a tapper over here for the glasses. So, convert to poly. So, select the polygons, you can just delete this. slightly give inset a bit not much but a bit and extrude it a bit down all right so i'll just end isolate this again i'll put it over here i've kept the glasses inverted so, again go into this and let us give again a material over here. I am sorry, uh, let us create a wall on the back side. Let us just push this in this way. So, this is how a wall is created. So, I will just give a All right. So, just save the file once. So, guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So, please like and subscribe my youtube channel. If you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe. So, we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So, thanks for watching this tutorial.